Alrighty guys, we're back to Star Wars Review. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video on an excerpt that was released for the upcoming uh, novel, which will start the High Republic series, uh, Light of the Jedi, it's written by Charles Soule. But the uh, ex excerpt is on the uh, first chapter in the little like prelude, I guess, kind of opening crawl, I guess you could say. Um, so yeah, uh, but um, you know, once again, it's for Light of the Jedi, which will be written by Charles Soule, and um, the excerpt can be read in an article on IGN, so I'll leave a link down below to that, but uh, I'm just going to be giving my thoughts on it and whatnot, it's probably going to be a super long video, and it's on a, like, in-depth breakdown. I'll, I'll talk about a few of the uh, things and go into detail um, about it and whatnot. But, uh, you know, it's only the first chapter, or at least seems like it's. Yeah. Or all, it is only the first chapter. I would assume it's all of the first chapter. Not sure about that though, but um, and you know s some stuff could possibly change uh, in between uh, now and the release of the novel. But um, yeah, you know the chapter. You know, I'll be talking about spoilers for the excerpt. So yeah, but um, you know, the chapter s seems like it's not from the point of view of any of the main characters. Um, and because the characters uh, showcased in the uh, chapter all seemingly die um, at the end because of the great disaster, which um, I'm I assume the event what happens is what kind of is the catalyst of all that, what sets it off. Um, not fully sure, though. We'll find out eventually um, when the novel comes out and all the other stories and get more details about the great disaster. But, um, yeah, uh, in the article, you know, it has an excerpt. A little bit of an interview with uh, Soul and whatnot, but uh, kind of he gives a few more details about the events. But, um, you know, the ship. Oh, it's like, you know, because this story, it's on the ship, and from the point of view of the captain of the ship, and, you know, at the end, some stuff happens, the ship's name is the Legacy Run, and, um, you know, uh, like, something happens, because, you know, they're in hyperspace, it's like a transport ship, uh, has a bunch of people on board and whatnot, and, like, it, In the, uh, in the excerpt, it describes hyperspace as looking like, like a sickly look to it, uh, the word they described it, which, um, there's, like, uh, they're gonna run into something, um, Eva's a mass shadow, which is this, like, you know, like, sun, stars, planets, whatever, um, stuff and whatnot, but, uh, Captain does, like, a maneuver in hyperspace, which, like, got out of the way, but I guess it wasn't good enough, and then it, the ship exploded, and, um, th this wasn't explained this in the uh, excerpt, so that's why I'm mentioning it in the interview, but I guess the shrapnel from the ship is flung out all over the galaxy through hyperspace or something like that. I'm not fully sure what that means, but um, obviously with hyperspace, there's a lot of aspects we just don't know a lot about how it works. Um, obviously we know the basics, but like it's always kind of confusing. Obviously hyperspace, how it the speed of it's all 
kind of how the plot and the story wants it to be. Because uh, then there's times in the, in the movies and you know, other things where it's like, it feels like it's super quick and then sometimes it's super long. Um, <laughs> even if it's like a doesn't really matter in how long the distance is that hyperspace that the time of travel is always what the uh, story wants it to be but um yeah <laughs> a- anyways I'm kind of going off uh, there but um I'm not fully sure obviously I would assume the Nile like set something up or something like that do it. Um, the the uh, description for the um, junior novel, uh, Test of Courage, at the beginning it says, quote, When the transport ship is abruptly kicked out of hyperspace as part of a galaxy wide disaster. And I guess I'm going to talk about the other characters. I don't know if that's talking about that story, the characters in that ship, or what. Um,. So yeah, I don't know if the legacy run is legitimately the that event is the great disaster, or if it's something of a bunch of ships or what. Don't know yet, but um, yeah, you know, I you know, the chapter, you know, I I did enjoy. Um, you know, um, it's from the point of view of the captain of the ship, um, what was her name, or, um, Hedda Cassette, I believe was her uh, name, uh, which is a uh, female, I'm not sure how, what species they were, I was assuming probably just human, but, um, you know, it's, in her, her point of view, on the uh, ship and whatnot, talks to one of the passengers and checks around the ship, and then the events happen and whatnot. Which, you know, I, I enjoyed the ship. Um, definitely set the character up well, even though it's not going to be seeing much of her. And kind of gave the uh, events made it more impactful, you know, I, I really enjoyed the chapter, um, obviously, you know, it's only one chapter, the rest of the book could be bad, terrible, but, I'm, I'm in doubt that would be the case, so, um, you know, as written in comics, some of my favorite Star Wars you know, uh, he's written my favorite Star Wars comics and, you know, some of my favorite Star Wars stories, but, um, yeah, uh, anyways, I, I did talk about it was a little preluded, it's more of a, like, an opening crawl, you could say, it's only a few paragraphs and a, a few, like, random sentences, too, but, um, you know, it does <clears throat> talk about, um, world right now. I mentioned who the Supreme Chancellor is. Uh, obviously, it's a, it's a new character. Or Supreme Chancellor Lena So. Uh, but uh, she, like, sends out the Jedi to explore the Outer Rim, which, you know, like, the uh, Republic has you know, like, the core and the inner and mid rims all, you know, mapped down and went on. Some of the Outer Rim is, but not fully, and, you know, they're setting up on, and people want to go out there to, you know, start a new life and whatnot, so, big thing, and they, Chandler, uh, sets up Starlight Beacon and you know, other outposts around the galaxy, but, yeah, definitely, you know, all of that, and I really enjoyed chapter, like I said, um, even though we know, I know that we probably won't see in this characters again, but, 
You know, it definitely was made you feel a little bit for eh, at least for me, I mean, feel a little bit more for characters and whatnot. But um, I'm interested to see what how the rest of this um great disaster is. But um, obviously find out when Light of the Jedi comes out, which uh, I believe it comes out January 5th, 2021, uh, alongside A Test of Courage, the uh, junior novel on the uh, same day, then the uh, young adult novel, Into the Dark, will come out February 2nd, and then the uh, comic series from Marvel and IDW will come out sometime in 2021. Obviously sucks, you know, because uh, Light of the Jedi was originally supposed to come out at the end of August, but was delayed. I I would assume most of the delay the delays were for the comics. I don't know though. But uh yeah, no, I would assume sometime later in twenty twenty one we'll get the next wave of uh releases. But yeah, um I'll leave the IGN article link below if um you wanna read the excerpt and whatnot, but yeah, um Video probably went on longer than I wanted to. Yeah, I'm recording at 12 minutes now, so yeah. Um, I'm just getting this one off here. I've been Star Wars Vino. Catch you guys in the next one.